Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the community. You know, watching these videos and encourages me to create more, showing what we do on a daily basis, fixing people's problems. And like I always say, there's no problems, only solutions. Today is Monday, February 7th, 2022. A little bit inclement outside, a little slight drizzle, slight drizzle, but I'm going to head over to a job and meet Daniel there. We're working on a ream rooftop unit at a, a bagel place in Lawrence. We got a cracked heat exchanger. We got the new one, which we secured on Friday of last week. And as long as the weather holds up, which I hope it will, we're going to swap that out. I don't know if the other stuff I'm, gonna, I'm doing today is going to include be included in this video, but we also have the other mic. He is swapping out that horrible sewage ejector pit in Far Rockaway. It's going to be a real shippy job. And the goal is for me to stop over there and assist, you know, acquire things if they need. And drop them off, act as the runner. Maybe we'll incorporate some of that and this will be a double header. So stay tuned, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate that in advance and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's no cost or obligation in subscribing. And as always, thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. All right, let's get going. Did you miss me? I'm back. This ream, let's take a look. Here we are, Rockaway and Peninsula. There you go. Tarjay, Tarjay, and there's LA Fitness. That's where Chris went for a, a few days and realized that, yeah, this is not the gym for me. What the hell is going on with this thing? <laughs> wow, that's epic. HVAC guy, HVAC guy would have a field day with that. All right. We have a condenser here, for, looks like for air conditioning. Here's our ream unit, heat exchangers inside here. Condenser compartment. We got some duct work off the side. So there's supply and there's return. Daniel was worried about this. He goes, there's duct work there. It's sitting on I-beams. Don't worry, Daniel, have no fear. St. Mike is here. Looks like they had some ductwork issues. They wrapped it with some tar paper. Here is a da -da 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 heat pump. Wow, look at the expo exposed Romex like that. Wow. Well, good thing we're not here for that. I didn't see that. You didn't see that either. A refrigeration condenser. All right. We're going to get our umbrellas out. Start taking this thing apart. All right, Daniel, you were correct. The blower is on top. Yeah, I doubt it. Do yeah, but I shouldn't have. I should have realized that you are a professional. Okay, here we are on this old ream. I already have this panel off. We have our two umbrellas hanging by Subco. Special shout out to Subco, even though they're not a sponsor of the channel. Maybe one day they will be. I already broke off all the zip ties holding all the wiring to the gas train here. Now. As you can see, the previous HVAC guy who did not get the job bypassed the left rollout switch because, and there's also, oh, there's another one there too. Oh, oh, there's a third, which was taken out of the equation a long time ago. I am very curious to see how this piece is gonna look when we take it out. Now, we have to, I got my drill and I went for my Malco 5 16th and quarter inch driver and it's not in the bag. I don't have to, I have to yell at somebody. I don't know who to yell at though. But it's not in here. I feel like Christian. No, we had I had it on. Oh. I had it. I don't know what happened to it. it. Didn't make its way back into the bag and I don't know, I'm very upset. The biggest pet peeve I have is misplacing tools. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. You spend a lot of money like this, this tool. One's not mine. Which one's not yours? This one. You have two of them? Yeah, mine's missing. <laughs> yours is missing. Because mine is perfect. Brand new. <laughs> You guys know, right? I do it too. I have a short one if you want to. Oh no, I found it! 
It wasn't back where it belonged, see? I found it. You guys know about tools, man. This tool bag, packed like this, over $1,000, you know? Don't wanna lose tools. So, you saw that thing in person down below, right? Is it just this plate? No, it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. I think, you don't think it's just this to there? It's it's from top to bottom. All right. This part goes on the new one. Okay. So let's take out everything. everything. Let's just take off the gas train. Switch mine around as well. And that will incorporate the gas valve. Take the gas train out, take the burner tray out. Let's see what's going on with this. All right, well, Daniel is working on that. The client here who owns the bagel store. Working on it. All right. This is what we got out so far. Not too shabby. I don't think this whole thing is sliding out in one piece, but you never know. Oh, wrong way. It looks like everything. It looks like everything. There's no way this thing is popping out. Oh, maybe it will. Hold on, let's grab, grab it with something. Whoa, Daniel made me grab the wires. All right, now, we have to get creative now. We gotta get creative. You're not gonna clear that. I, ah, maybe you will, hold on. There's a little, like, a lip here. I know. Let's see, how about you hold that? And you, you wanna do the honors? All right. guy who you've had servicing this thing was there's your capacitor strapped to a refrigeration line with some nice. with some electric tape there's a condenser fan motor all right it's got a combination of electric tape and and zip ties look at this just real shoddy work all right back to our originally scheduled originally scheduled program hopefully this thing will come out now Oh, we're still hitting something, and I don't know what it is. All right, there's our blower resting on both of our vetoes. Heat exchanger, we took an angle grinder to see what the hell was going on in there. Daniel's in there, taking out a couple screws that are holding the back part of the heat exchanger up. We saw that there were a couple on that side, all the way back there. So we loosened those up, took those out. And we realize it's still not sliding out. So Daniel's working on those two 516 screws over there. And I really think we're gonna have a problem with the gas. The gas is gonna be a problem. We may have to get the bandsaw. We may have to get the mega press and I may have to upcharge him. He's like, fuck me in the ass. It's pretty, oh, it's pretty <laughs> <coughs> Big job. <coughs> Well, at least at the end of the day, you know you're gonna get a quality job. That's right, that's why we call you. Yep. We're good? Should be, I, it dropped down as soon as I was. Okay. 
Let's just take a look inside here because I think the heat exchanger is tearing up a little bit of the insulation on that side, as you can see there. There's insulation on the right side. So I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit. But I think we'll be all right. How do you feel? Good. Do you feel like you saved their lives? Not really. Well, we're doing our job. Here's the heat exchanger. Look at that. Crack there. Crack there. Holes. And the guy was just bypassing rollouts. First, he disabled one in the middle. Well, he banged her up a little bit there, but it is what it is. We probably vacuum this out a little bit best we can. And. Oh, that one over there. Yeah. yeah. So we tore that up a little bit, unfortunately, but we got it out. We turned the gas off to the entire building because I was going, because we just was in the way, the valve, the gas cock was in the way. I was going to get and premiere for the first time to the community, the Milwaukee M18 bandsaw with the Milwaukee uh, mega press set, but I quickly realized that the fittings I have didn't arrive yet for the uh, the yellow, the yellow little sticker on it for gas. I have the one for everything else, but I don't have the one for gas. So fortunately we we're able to take the gas cock off, the one inch gas cock, and it slid right out. All right, we should probably clean up in there, get the new heat exchange up in the room. Yeah, I know. The same line? Yeah, so. Yeah, so look at that. Oh, the thing just crashed. They line up perfectly with the middle Rolex, which that was bypassed a long time ago. No, that was bypassed. The one in the middle. No, 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 no. Just wide out of the equation. Oh, as we, as we saw earlier, so the one down. the one that was right the here, this one was the one that was bypassed. He had one there as well, but yeah. this one was completely out of the equation. The wire wasn't even going there anymore. So, cleaned up. It's insulated on this side because that side is unprotected. Is unconditioned uh, space of the system, but yeah, unfortunately, it's a uh, it's the nature of the beast. Okay, that little piece right there. What is this little thing right here? Yeah, let's grab that. We have any foreign debris out of here? All right. Still don't know what the hell this is about. Some kind of cover. Oh yeah, chase. Okay. All right, I guess we can slide the new one in. How you feeling? Feeling accomplished? Oh. People are commenting on your mustache, your stash. <laughs> Haters. Two more months, and then that's like the best thing we got. Okay. All right. Let's get this bad boy in. All right. Definitely a two-person job, but we have our new heat exchanger in position. The back clips are in on both far right and far left side. Daniel removed the access panel from underneath to help push up and line up the clips of the heat exchanger. Good? Okay. Yeah, it's cold. But it's 36 degrees, a little after 10 o'clock in the morning. Ah, even iced coffee. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. It's cold. It's cold. All right. Accomplishment, huh? Okay, we're gonna start putting this thing back together. Maybe breakfast. Go, go down there and get your breakfast. All right, when you're working at a bagel shop, it's only natural to have bagels. So I can't finish this. This is a bagel, toasted. It's got butter on there, we got egg. We got lettuce, tomato, avocado. Let me tell you something, this thing is just banging. I can't even finish this. I'll let you guys get a little glimpse of it. There it is. So if you're in the five towns, stop by Giant Kosher Bagel. It's good stuff. All right. Sorry, guys. We have admission. There's our blower. It just, uh, it slatches. See, it's like, oh, shit. It just broke off. Yeah. It just broke. 
Yeah, the next major overhaul, you get a whole new a whole new rooftop unit. All right, we're gonna button everything back up. Feels warm, right? Let's get let's, let's get warm with that carbon monoxide. Good, right? Very nice. Good job, Daniel. We did it. No, you did. You helped. We got to. We have to get some uh, rollouts. How do you think you did, Daniel? Fine. Okay, good. Yo, what do you think that is right there? The guy in the box over there. You think he took a shit right there? Yeah. Oh my God, it's gross. There's a guy living in this box over here. It's a shame. See straight down, straight ahead? Right in there. It's a shame. It takes a dump next to the garbage cans. All right. Let's go check out the thermostat. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video replacing this Ream rooftop unit heat exchanger on a inclement day. Me and Daniel got it done. System is up and running. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, the resettable rollout switches on this, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We learned it the hard way. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Be well. God bless. And to be well. God bless. Stay safe.